ish. I'm gonna say it's going into Vitality's favor for 4 3. 4 3. I can see this going all the way as well. I. Oh, I, I, I really don't know who's gonna come out on this, the top of this Never one, mind. but Exotic, he's the one to put himself in front eight seconds into the match, and he's got one already for Semper. Never mind, 4 0 Semper, it's done. Get out. <laughs> it's done. We'll move on. It's Ch chalked already. Nothing to talk about anymore. Our job is done here. We'll just move on to the grand finals. Everything's done. But in reality, of course, it isn't. Kate up right away. Bouncing oh. back. What a save from Exotic. Not letting him get that early counter goal. And she'll set now in the defensive end. There comes a demo over on Exotic. Pass into the middle. Just a bit too far ahead. This may be a big clear. But should be an Ooh. easy save by Kate up. But still in a good spot. Exotic. Gets a couple more touches, but the save there all the way to the side once again. Meaning that Alpha with the control pass into the middle. No one really there. No one really wanted to pass with Alpha, I see. No, not really. Oh, Redos is just leaving that one for Alpha. Not sure if he actually intended to do that, but that's the intended consequence for him. But Redos, he meant to do that. All right. Top corner, top bend, ties it back up. Pass from Alpha straight down. Ooh. Beautifully done from the ceiling. And then... Finding the, treading the needle right there, getting the one slot he could put it in and putting it right over there. Top corner, 1-1 one, one in this series. So far, looking to be a close one, looking to be an exciting one as Casio. Leaves it high, leaves it alone for Exotic. Good play right there, but the save is there, of course, as well. Kato now, letting the ball drop into the middle. It's Casio, quick, early, and fast, but still has to be careful. Exotic with a good hit up for it once again. Kate up still holding it together right now for Vitality. Ooh. Double commit right there up. may actually not go into their favor as the double commit really just removed any speed you could have gotten for the play. Exotic Ooh. with the shot, but not strong enough. Nice transition from Semper. We talked about that was so earlier on that they were able to transition quite well and Semper really couldn't pull that out of their playbook. Now here against a team like Vitality who are going to sit back a little bit more and may open up a little, uh, a few more passing play options for Semper as Alpha goes off the backboard and tries to find Peter. Back to even Stevens, back all square. Vitality again trying to fight out of their own corner. Semper are not making it easy on them and they're playing the, playing the aggression game which is kind of what Sue were doing to Semper earlier on. Here comes Alpha, maybe a rebound off of the back wall. Also, Rodosa not able to follow up any better than that. It's really even between both these teams. A quick start for Semper, a quick response for Vitality, and now both of them happy to stick with the status quo. I think for Vitality, you really should have looked at the game with Sir playing against Semper and seen, okay, what worked for them? Why did they win against them? How did they do it correctly? A skate up goes for the 1v1. If the bump attempt. Not finding the bump actually being a hit. This one does get turned into a demo, but it's from Shalset who now tries to go further ahead. Gets bumped out of the way. Casio with a good clear over onto the backwards. An awkward position to be in. Shalset with a quick shot, but saved this time around. Exotic can't do much either. And it means that Rodosin has an opportunity onto the back wall once again. Is there a quick shot? There was, but it was just a bit too high. Follow up from Kate up. Finding the net, 2-1 lead for Semper. I was going to say, Semper smart back play by Chasset. <laughs> it says, you struggle your words. They struggle with defense to Semper. Chasset just not realizing where he's clearing that ball to. And K-Dot will say, thank you very much. Our, our merci beaucoup, as, as he would say, because he's French. We're still not done with that. We're still not done. No, I'm, I'm, I'm stay, I've been told to stay away from the impressions, whether they be French or Smeagol. I like the Smeagol one, that's fine, but... That was, rub that was rubbish. And the was French rubbish. one was not that great. Yeah, we'll, we'll, leave, we'll, we'll just leave all the... Uh, I'll do. It, I'll keep doing an impression of myself. How about that? I'll just stick with that for the rest of the game. Nah, that's a bit the boring. That nah, is boring, but... But has it been boring? Yeah, this is, this is not been boring whatsoever. So. Exactly. <laughs> Certainly not. Both these teams putting on a show. Best of seven still ahead of us. One of these teams will make it into the grand final. Semper wanting to get revenge on Sir for that upper final. 
Vitality to look, looking to get there themselves, and all, it will also be a, a rematch from the final upper bracket final of Group A from Thursday. Vitality are able to find themselves in the grand final. The seconds left, K Dot maybe looking for a third. Exotic will just collate that on top of his car. Now, what does Semper have in the tank? They've not really, see, not really seen them play all that fast as of late spooks, but now they want to turn up the gas, turn up the heat, and turn, up, turn that dial up to 11. Maybe even 12 if it's necessary, but so far it seems the defense from Fidelity is holding on strong. It's Casio, setting it up for his teammate Exotic, but can't go any quicker. Like Cascade blocking him off once again. And really, the, the Championship Sunday stuff for k Ooh. is still going on, as there's a, a team safe, I think. It almost looked like it has. Ooh Once again, Redosin finding the angle. If if I hit that, it would have gone out through the post. Yeah, I, th I think uh, Redosin's lucky that the posts don't collapse in the posts don't collapse in this game. Otherwise, he'd have to rebuild Manfield Stadium all by himself because that was a absolute rocket ship heading into the Semper net. A little bit of retaliation back here from Semper won't yield any points and it won't really make a difference either way. Vitality do concede right at the end here from Josette, but they do walk away with the game one victory. And so far for Vitality, who has impressed me the most is Kdub really. And yeah. I'm surprised I say this, but he hasn't looked the best during this entire tournament. And then Sunday, he looks stellar. Yeah, I mean, you can ne never stop Championship Sunday K-Dop, and uh, he's really proven his worth here as well. And I know we, coming into this tournament, we talked about Vitality, and did they make the right roster move, taking out Fairy and putting Radosin in, or should it have been K-Dop being the one that is sitting on the bench for Vitality? I think K with the, you know, quality and the uh, the prestige that KDOP has behind them, the veteran instincts, it's good to keep them on this roster and train up these young this young talent in Redosin and uh, obviously still playing his uh, a vital role here for Vitality. But uh, of course, still a long series ahead. Semper can rally back and I mean everything, just looking at the stats from, from that game, everything was still fairly even. It was just Vitality had the upper hand and it was a couple of mistakes from Semper that really turned the tides in that one. And with that being said, I feel like Kato, especially during this game, was basically doing what I feel like Carmine Corp needs their turds to do. It's pretty much filling in the gaps, making sure things keep going, keep flowing, and keep playing together, get those passes to one another, get a couple of bumps in, a couple of demos, and making sure those saves get safe. But is he going to be able to do it in game number two? Only time will tell. Time will tell indeed. As game number two gets off to a quick start, and it's a really quick start for Vitality. It only took sec seven seconds in this game, eight seconds in the last one, and they're already ahead once again. And a simple bump from Radozin, meaning that the defender was out of its path. And that lead, once again, it's gonna be so important for Vitality to get those leads consistently early on force Semper to get out of their shell a bit, force them out of their own half, and then move on to get those counter attacks going, as this one is missed, but maybe just freeing up space Ooh. for Alpha, but the fake not working out this time around. Redosa now with the control, looking for a pass, looking to get it into the middle. That's an undershot set, well done, but still, it isn't enough for that second goal. Alpha, trying once again. 50, leaving it over for Redosa. Can he get this stuck? in the blue half, because it has been stuck in the blue half. That's very much stuck, been stuck in this blue half, maybe stuck in the back of the blue net. As Radosin fires and misses, just rattles it off the crossbar. And I will uh, correct myself, it was actually Semper who went up in game number one, eight seconds in. Vitality looking to go two up here. Okay, Alpha 54 rattles it off the top right hand corner of the net. And again, Semper just being put on the back post. Whether these shots are going in or not here, Spooks, it's a lot of pressure being put on the Semper defense, and they're really not able oh, to make beautiful. any headway in getting upfield, and Alpha will put another one in. And this is what I'm talking about for Kato, setting himself up right here, and instead of going for a quick shot that it's easily going to get saved, finding the back pass into Alpha, who of course reads him, 
to a T, and that is a 2-0 lead for Vitality. It's going to be very hard for Samper to really bounce back right now. We've seen it before. They aren't the ones who really are able to bounce back that quickly. But you have to do it right now as another shot comes out from Radosa and Fikeda. Going high, taking his time, looking to force people out once again. Gets Exotic to bite, letting Alpha go this time around, but no shot to be found. Vitality are doing a tremendous job at just holding Semper back in their own half. I don't think I've seen a real good opportunity for Semper to come forward whatsoever. Every time they have, it seems that Vitality have the capability to take this ball right out of their hands. And Chassette is the last man back here. The only man back, in fact, for Semper. Has to take that away from the, the face of his net. But again, you see Semper, they're just booming the ball upfield. And every time they do, Vitality put bodies in front of it and managed to just steal this ball away from an attacking Semper. As Radosin hits the ball high once again, it's on to Alpha. Pass into the middle, shot set. Can't get the best of touches, and that is what Vitality Ooh. is forcing here right now. Once again, Radosin trying his best. But they are forcing Semper into a lot of awkward scenarios due to them blocking off the midfield. Kato with the fake and the bump. Gassio, luckily enough for Exotic, helping him out right there. But still, Semper aren't safe. They still haven't really been able to get consistently out of their own half. Chosette tries it this time around. Alpha blocking him off. And Radosin is just quicker than anyone else. Can he find the double? It drops straight down. No one able to hit the ball this time around. The Chosette hits it to the side. Still looking for the control. Maybe a counter-attack in the making. But it's blocked off by Radosin once again. And Vitality really looking solid. Again, it's just Vitality putting bodies in front of Semper and causing them issues when they're going into attack. Vitality love holding down this middle of the pitch and Semper really don't have an answer for it at this point. Casio will try and make a meal of it in the corner. He'll call it an exotic. Where is Chosette? The devil does come through, however, on Radosin. But Chosette was had his pockets picked and Alpha has a third for Vitality and for himself. It feels like Vitality is just playing at a different game speed than what Semper is able to hold up to right now. It is feeling like what happened with Sa against Semper, but just way more noticeable this time around. As Vitality just takes the 3-0 lead right here, looking to maybe just get that game to going. And well, I was saying at the start, 4-3 for Vitality. I thought I was being a bit brave with that. <laughs> Right now, I'm not feeling that, uh, Ooh, that it's set. unrealistic. Ooh. And Chassette, this ball does not even go in. What a read from Chassette, but it was even better defensive prowess from Vitality. Able to take that one away. k up looking like he wanted to bump Cassio out of the road. Here comes Chassette, though. Maybe another chance for him and Exotic to link up. But again, the reads from Vitality are just superior. They are reading the minds of Semper Esports. Clearing deep into the well of knowledge that they have, and they've done their st tape study here. Spooks, they know D Semper's tendencies. They know what they like to do. They know they like to give it to K Exotic in space. And Exotic has really just been shut down this entire time. I think I've said Chaussette's name this game alone more than I have seen Exotic actually hit the ball. Perhaps that is true, but right now you still have to try and get a way out. And that is the problem. If you only go for your plan A and you don't have the plan B set up, you're going to have matches like this where the enemies are just able to counter you non-stop through. As Casio now has to go back quite quickly, but doesn't even get the boost. And the awkward touch out means Rodosian can bring it back into the blue half once again. There is Elva 54 tries Ooh. to do the breezy. A little bit cheeky, but with the last 10 seconds counting down, you cannot blame him and you cannot blame Vitality for just looking so, so good. They do look really well-rounded now. A fourth will not come through as bodies fly. But the only thing that's flying through the minds of Semper Esports right now is what can we do to get anything on the board? Look at those shots as well. Seven, I, I, I can't even count. 15 shots from Vitality and only five from Semper. And the field domination as well, 72%. Vitality were running rings around the Semper boys. I think most of that field domination probably has to come down to that startup where we hey. saw Vitality just lock Semper in their own half for like a full two minutes. They were not able to break free at all. And I feel like that's the difference. If you want to counter Semper, look now, RCS teams, because this is the way to do it.
it's just ridiculous. I, I, I'm just in awe at the shots of the uh, the, the stats that I'm seeing here. I mean, but eight, eight saves. Semper had to make eight saves. Vitality only had to make four. That is that, that's insane. And like, I, I'm just thinking back. To, you know, the last few days that we've seen Vitality in action spooks. I would certainly not have picked this team. Uh, as, you know, playing this style of play, but for me, even yesterday, they were playing a little bit too slow, a little bit sluggish, but they've adapted. They've found a rhythm, and Vitality are all over Semper Esports. Semper do not have an answer for this right now, and even if they put it into the hands of Exotic, which they're trying to do now, they just get their pockets picked, but oh, Chassette maybe a shot on net, but Alpha, the defense for Vitality, as little as has been tested in the last five or six minutes of gameplay, they are still on the ball when it comes to all aspects of Rocket League right now. And once again, Vitality trying to push that envelope, trying to get those early goals going for themselves. Skate up back into the middle. Cassio has a good clear though towards the side. Cassio once again tries to get to it, but can't hit the ball. As Exotic takes it along with himself. Kato with a good 50, but the right ends right in the hands of Casio, and they get that early goal for themselves, and that is exactly what they were needing of. Yeah, great work by Exotic in the corner here, and Vitality maybe just a little bit of lapse in concentration with all three members tucked away in the corner there, and I believe it was Radisson and Alpha just hurrying back to the, the to the mouth of the goal, trying to, to try and make a stop on it. It wasn't worth anything. It was great play by Exotic in the corner to work it around everyone from Vitality and even just bait those guys in initially. That's what Semper rally back with within the first minute of a crucial game number three for them. If they lose this one, a full best of seven reverse sweep is going to be required and it's very rare that we see those in the top end of professional Rocket League. Is now exotic out of the corner. Fain tries to find shot set and will, and up to the backboard once again. Vitality is uh, as good as they looked in that game number two. It's been a relatively slow start, although Alpha tried to turn on the jet engines. Does find Kado, but a little bit too far. Casio for clear coming out, but Verdosen finds a good hit uh, back into the middle. Alpha 54, a quick shot to be found, but just set has to, or at least blocks the double tap attempt. Dozen now in the defensive end. Gets it past one. Can he get it past the second? Does find it past the second, but Chassat is still in the defense, getting that save. Looking to transition back onto the offense once again, but still nothing to be found. And you see, this is what Semper is good at. Once you are in the lead, they really try to slow things down. The entire game, you can feel like it has been slowing down more and more and more. And it is up to Team Vitality to get this game back up to the speeds where they can force those types of mistakes out of them. It's complete polar opposites of what we saw in their game yesterday as well. It seemed like whenever Vitality took the lead, they, they were the ones to happy to slow it down, sit back and maybe even just take that one goal or, or one nil game win as they did in game number one of that series yesterday. Now with Vitality are the ones trying to be aggressive and Semper are Happy to stick with their defensive plan here is now just set maybe a little bit of free air. Does get the demo on Alpha and will allow. I thought Exotic might have been more uh, inclined to move up there, but again, it just shows you how how changed their ga game plan has been. But slowing things down instead of going 100 miles an hour the entire five minutes. What I'm at the shot. Good shot by Radosin. Good save as well by Exotic, but. What I am noticing is a bit of a, a playstyle that I haven't seen in a couple of years. Uh, I don't know if you remember it uh, yourself, Crafters, but the old Veloce playstyle. It oh, really feels like it's being brought the back up again. Boring Veloce. And I am oh, excited. I hated that. I hated Veloce. They were so boring. <laughs> I love Veloce. And I'm oh. seeing Cassio go up right there, but it isn't getting past Elva this time around. Comes for a dozen quick shots, but the oh, oh boy, that ball just enters on in. I was lost for words for a second there because I did not expect this to happen at all. <laughs> I don't think Chassette was expecting it to happen, but he makes the pinch with the vitality defender. And again, we, we saw this a lot from Semper yesterday that they were the ones being aggressive, overzealous. 
and just pushing a little bit too far and they paid the price for it. Now Vitality are <gasps> paying that price as well and Exotic racking up the bill as they put a third in the back of the net. How does that go in? Oh, that is so painful for Vitality. But on the other hand, Semper must be laughing right now. They've been laughing this entire idea right now that they just can not get goals like that going for themselves as well. But it is going to be important going into game four. For both these teams, it's going to be so important who gets that first goal. Really will be. As we do approach the last 60 seconds in Vitality, maybe just a little bit stunned in this one, maybe a little bit complacent of how they've been playing up until this point. Now Semper find their rhythm. Talks about Vitality being in sync with one another. And all three members, I mean, up until now, Vitality really haven't had a one particular standout player, if anyone, it's been KDOT, but all three members were working so well together in the couple of games leading up to this one. Now it's Semper finding their groove. And maybe KDOT even finding one for Vitality at the end here. Cassio will deny it. They want to keep their sheet clean here in game number three and put a, a pit underneath their name to signify that they've got a win here in the lower final best of seven. And moving into this next game, here, Spooks, do you think Semper can keep this style of play up and just force Vitality into making mistakes? Because that's how really how they won this third game. I honestly have no idea if they're going to be able to do that. I don't know if Vitality is going to allow them to do that. But game four will be a fact and we will have the 2-1 be a fact as well. It wouldn't have been right if this ended up in uh, in a sweep for Vitality. Now, would it have? <laughs> I did not uh, expect either well if anything i would have expected semper to sweep this but vitality if they if they swept out semper that would have been one hell of a statement going into the grand final against Su, which is where the winner of this game will find themselves and obviously coming from the lower side of the bracket they'll have to bracket reset uh so who have not dropped a series in this tournament as of yet so for either one of these teams it's crucial to get some momentum behind you but for semper I, th I think now that they've found a way through the Vitality defense, they're just going to keep this one going. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if we even see a goal within the first maybe 5, 10 seconds of this one, right off the kickoff for Semper, but mm, there goes 5 seconds. Okay, maybe I, may, I might be wrong. Okay. Uh, wrong for once. Oh, just once? Just the once. I am I'm, I'm only correct, you know, 85% of the time, I'd say. Fair. Good statements, good stats, good stats. Well, you're wrong this time around. Let's screw <laughs> those in. It gets that opening goal for Vitality. And that is what I was going to talk about as well. Semper is currently relying on mistakes of Vitality. But what if there aren't being there aren't any mistakes being made? Yeah, not many mistakes. All the mistakes for Vitality, I suppose, were made in the previous game. So they've got those out of their system. They're now barreling towards maybe taking this fourth game. Still another couple for them to win. Three to win for Semper. Still a long, long way to go in this series, one way or the other. Vitality wanted to play mistake-free Rocket League, but also keeping that pressure on. When they've been able to pressure Semper and hold them back, that is where they have thrived. Exotic and Cassio try to clear their lines. Cassio will go for net and he finds it right in the heart of it. 1 1. A tiny mistake coming out from Alpha, not hitting that ball at all. Meaning Cassio will open up a free goal to himself. And that is the 1 1 standing right now. Four minutes to go. And it is what Semper was looking for. I said maybe we won't see any mistakes anymore from Vitality. I guess I was wrong, but a tied up game doesn't mean anything as this is a pass down to Kato. Actually leaves it alone for Rodosin to go again. But with Zero Boost, how much can you do? Well, you can do quite a lot. Ooh. A save from Casio still in time. Kato. Letting the ball go past and it goes all the way to a shot set. Who tries to get a quick sneaky goal past the defenders. Not working out this time around as he tries to bring it up forward once again. Kato. It out. Casio once again blocking it off. Good hit by Exotic. And he finds the double, bringing it into the middle. Shot set with a shot. But the shot is too weak. And the clear comes out. Alpha 
going up now. What can he do all by himself? Well, not too much. Cassio blocking it off once again. And Vitality once again on the attack. Healing boost as well from Semper, which is going to be really crucial to make sure they have the pace advantage. The wallet goes. Kate up. Oh, he's going to find the top corner. Oh, it bounces in and out. Alpha 54 with the rebound, and he finds the opposite corner. Vitality. Great pressure. Great goal. That bounce should have already been in, but then Charles said doesn't know exactly where the ball is going to go. Ran out of boost. Didn't know what to do. But what did happen was the ball entering the net to one lead for Vitality once again. They want to keep a hold of this one with the three minutes to go. It's still a long time to see this one out. Ball does enter in the blue half. Rodosin trying to find a third, but can't do it this time around. Okay, up. We have seen him play quite well, and they... Rule one has been broken. Rule two is rule, rule two. One. Okay, it's rule two. It's rule two, everybody. Been well established that locking the cars together is rule two, and I don't know who was the one to break that one, but it, oh. I imagine it was the Semper player because they are paying the price. Kate up with another for Vitality. A beautiful hit. How does he get? Oh, ho, ho. Kate up. Uh, all right. Uh, is, is this is this old Kate up we see once again? The one we've is missed for a bit. Is this Kadoff from like four years ago? Because he looks unstoppable today. Maybe it's just the fact that he's playing on Championship Sunday. That is a walk in the beast. That is Kadoff, and you you know you can't stop the Kadoff. Maybe even a four fire for vitality. Four vitality. I think that five times fast. <laughs> just set now. Oh, great shot, but again, with Dawson and the rest of the Vitality defense is just there to make the stop. Semper, whenever they get behind the eight ball, they just cannot seem to find that one way through from Vitality. But just imagine how good this is for Kato for his mentality side. Knowing you just made a really big roster move, letting one of your probably good friends out of the team and then having to just be like, yeah, I have to step up now, otherwise it's probably my head next on the chopping block. And then doing stuff like this in the first tournament you really play together, it must be a really great feeling, because Skate Up, especially today, just looks back. Good old Skate Up. I want to see more of this Skate Up, but right now, Elf 54 also looking quite good, looking quite dangerous. Can he get a pass into the middle? No, not this time around. Rodosa now taking it easy, taking it slow, but a bit too slow as Exotic has the control once again. But you need to be careful, Semper. You cannot let this ball stick around here for all too long. Because you saw what happened last time around as this ball goes high and wide. We even asked the questions, books about Kato, whether he deserved his place on this roster over, over Fairy Peak. Certainly proven oh. his worth here and another one. A second goal for Kato. And it might be the one to put them onto match point. Such an important goal. So unlucky for shot set, though. Not much you can do about it. He already pre-jumped that ball from Kata, but he will definitely take it. But it is looking likely that we will see a 3-1 standings in this series. As the 4-1 still stands on the scoreboard. Might turn into a 4-2, but the passing play got intercepted. Alpha. Getting it high, just wasting more time, and oh. that's probably what Vitality will be fine doing. Just let the clock run down, just waste more time. So double commit does come out, but Redosin doesn't care. Even with zero boost, wall dashes all the way over, doesn't <laughs> hit the ball, but that's not necessary. He wasted more time on the clock. It's the reads for Vitality that are doing it for me. They just seem to know exactly where Semper are going at any given time. They're shutting down plays before Semper can even think about making them. Pressure again from Vitality. The 50-50 ball, she's going their way. She sets a little bit out of position there, but does end up getting the save. It doesn't matter one way or the other. Vitality, another dominating performance. No consolation goal for Semper here at the end of game number four. And Vitality, one win away from another place in the grand final. It would be wonderful to see, but what I'm looking at right now is probably Shaw said the one who impressed me one of the best impressors during the group stages, during the during yesterday, he right now is falling a bit flat, getting a bit unlucky. It's gonna be hard to not let that get to you at these types of moments. Cause right now Vitality is looking dangerous. And if you let your own troubles get into your head, you're gonna really start losing this match in game five.
I mean, for you, it's Chassette. For me, it's Exotic. We've not really seen all that much from Exotic. He's just been a non-factor in this series. And that's due to Vitality. I keep saying about it. It's the pressure they're able to put on. They know to shut down and not give Exotic space. That's exactly what they're doing. And then Sempar are really just struggling to find another entry point into the Vitality defense. Because looking at the stats from that, three shots from Chaussette, one from Cassio, zero for Exotic. And that is... Uh, that is really, really telling in how the yeah. how the pace of this game and the, the story of it has played out because Vitality just seem all over Semper right now. I think it probably says enough that both of us call out different players on who's doing probably the worst right now for Semper. I think that's always is a bad sign when you have to call out two people in that regard. So maybe just both of them, we need to stand step up or maybe one of them to step up so the other can have a bit of an easier time. But the one who is stepping up oh. is and a good pass to Exotic, just barely going wide. So sad. Bringing it back forth once again. It's Kate up now with control. Can he get a pass? Exotic, no. Blocked off right there. Need to be careful. Cassio's quick, but not quick enough. And now all three Fatality players are next to one another. And the only one taking a shot was Alpha. <laughs> I didn't really know who was taking the shot there. I don't think Vitality knew either. It was an aerobatic show in front of the Semper box. Alpha does shoot from long range here. And whenever you get a, getting into a position like that, we've, we've seen it already from Sir. They pulled out like a fake dummy shot. Defense never really knows where you're going to go with it. Vitality, this creativity that we're seeing from them is ex oh, no. exemplary, but in K-Dop, that's a huge mistake, a huge error, and Cassio will will cash in on the K-Dop's mistake. And somewhere I feel like Shaw said is probably laughing, being like, yep, fair, that's a bit of payback from last game. How does it feel, K-Dop, to have it going against your way this time around? Good lead for Semper, important lead for Semper, but it might be gone right away oh. as k does it again. That he does. That is why he is a former world champion three times over. Off the bar. Lovely stuff. And Radosin did a brilliant job setting that up off of the kickoff. Denver had no clue it was coming. Great kickoff strategy. And maybe another one as Alpha slows it down. One on one with shot set. But the sock wins out. The sock is certainly on the other foot right now. And Vitality looking to get a foothold in this series. Oh, here comes with Alpha 54, gets a great save off of the foot of Exotic. Back and forth we go, and now Semper seem to have a little bit of life in them. Finally, they seem to have awoken themselves as Exotic, the one man you want to see awaken himself. is slowly starting to get more involved into the offense, as Shaw said, gets a bit of a pot shot forward, Casio. The ceiling down has the control, has the flip reset, has the goal to oh. his name through the 50 with a demo. He gets him on the score sheet. And we've talked about demos a lot this week, and none more so important than that one. Cassio, a great play, pinches it. I think he was expecting the pinch rather than the demo, but he'll take it either way. I think he got the pinch before he got the demo, to be fair. So a double whammy in that sense. Now Semper. They know they have to win three in a row here. And they need to put a chokehold on to Vitality. Otherwise, Semper will be the ones tapping out of this competition. What did Vitality have to fight back with, though? Cassio up to Exotic, off the backboard, trying to follow up himself. But again, set moves up forwards and is the last man back. And he was in the middle of the field. Dangerous stuff from Chaussette. He does get away with it as Vitality tries to push down once again. Redosin empty net. Exotic makes a brilliant save and holds off Vitality for the moment. What a beautiful save. What a good way to keep going. But right there comes Redosin Whoa, leaving it up pass. for Alpha. And they tie us back up after the saves. They couldn't get another one. That is excellent play by Redosin. And he gets the bump for good measure on Chaussette. Sh We've seen Chaussette make some great saves in this competition already. He's prevented from making another one there. Right off the kickoff again, Semper Esports wanting to bite back with a vengeance and bite back quickly. Here comes Exotic, plenty of boost in the tank, has to deal with Redosin in the air. Here comes Chaussette, maybe a rebound and Redosin again just takes it into the corner very safely by Vitality. Now Vitality's defense getting really, really tested here from Semper Esports. 
but as the clock ticks down, still 2-2. Two -two. Vitality can't seem to break free of their own half this time. Alpha will be trying his best to do it all by himself to get that ball away, but Cassio puts it back into the orange half. Now Kate up from the seating straight on down. There's once again a passing option, but Rodosin intercepts it. Good hit. Back into the middle we go, but it's just a bit too hard so far for Semper. They haven't really found each other all that well. Maybe a bump and a demo will clear some stuff up. A ooh, good attempt ooh. by Chassette. But it just barely goes wide and it goes the other way. Does this Alpha? one go in? No! Alpha fights the net. The counterattack is lethal. And again, it comes back to bite Semper on the bottom. Fully pushed up, fully expecting that they're the ones to take the lead. But one lapse in concentration lets the ball into the hands of the Frenchman of, of Vitality. I was, <laughs> it's, it's weird because they're both, both rosters are full French. Yeah. <laughs> it's Vitality, oh. what a shot by Casio. But again, Semper, that is what they've been really uh, punished by throughout this whole Dacia Spring Electric Tournament, is that they push far too far up and then their opponents have one big clear downfield and they pay the price for it yet again. And as the Fatality fans slowly start getting a bit, a bit of hope that they lost during the second split, it seems Semper fans should still be excited. With one minute to go, it's still very much possible for them to get back into this. But Vitality won't be a push over at all. They won't allow them to get an easy pot shot in. As Shaw said, tries his best to get it back into the middle, but no one there to find him with that pass. As this ball goes back into the middle once again as well. Good clear from Radosin. Waste more time. A bit awkward right there for Chassette. Skater once again leaving it over. Chassette hit it high for Exotic. Is there a passing option? No, there is not. The only one who was there is Alpha 54 blocking him off once again. This one goes to the side and it's really do now Ooh. or do die because you aren't going to get another chance. You need to do it right now as Rodosin can't get a good touch over on this one. It is Skate up. Taking it further, Exotic back into the middle. There's Cassio lying in wait. Not a good oh, shot. Alpha 54 with the clear. This one might go in if Shoshana isn't careful. The crossbar denying him, but Alpha 54 denying Semper. 4-1 for Team Vitality. Wow. Just wow. What a all coming together uh, performance that was for Team Vitality when they looked dead in the water and maybe a just bit, a bit down on their luck throughout the entirety of this Dacia Spring Electric Tournament so far. Come Championship Sunday, you cannot stop the cane up. But Alpha 54 and, and Radisson for that matter as well, they played tremendous parts on this roster. And it's a, really a coming together, a collation of all three of their efforts. Not really one player standing out, it's all three players stepping up. And Semper really just couldn't get a grasp of what Vitality was was showing on that field and i mean what i say for the fatality fans you have something to be excited about if this is where kato is going to be slotting in into this team it, it really is making me wonder though maybe the problem really was that fairy peak and kato were starting to have a similar approach to the game similar ideas on how to fill in for their teammates and they really needed that fresh bit of fresh air called red Ozen. and what my goodness he has been such a good player for this team yeah, and as for Semper, it just all fell apart at the at the seams. Uh, they they seem to have everything under control, but man, oh man, when you you're against a team like that in Vitality, who just absolutely run rough shot around you, it's difficult for anyone to really uh, get any foothold in in a in a series like that. But Vitality, they just blew Semper out of the water, and now they find themselves into the grand final. K-Dop has a chance and yet another championship as we have one more look at the playoff bracket. You can see Vitality. They were beaten by Semper in the first round of the upper bracket. They fall to the lowers and they have made the whole run down there. Now they face off against Sue in a best of seven with a bracket reset as well. Who's going to walk away? The champions of the Dacia Spring Electric Tournament. Jam and Relic will have the answers right after this.
Welcome back, folks. It is time. The grand finals are upon us. Dacia Spring Electric Tournament have reached its culmination. The mountaintop, the whatever you might want to put it, Relic. But this is it. And this is a rematch. We have seen yeah. Team Vitality and Sub before. And for Team Vitality, the mountain looks twice as big. That's right, bracket reset is needed for the French team for them to claim the Dacia Spring Tournament title. And I wonder, I wonder if they can do it. <laughs> uh, part of me right here, right, right here, right here, right here. Mm. Let's believe it. It's bye-bye, Group B. No more survivors, only Group A vibes. But let's give Team Vitality a lot of credit here. They dropped to the lower bracket on day three. They have performed the lower bracket run. This version of Team Vitality looks like a completely different prospect. Yes, I know that Carmine Court is a little bit all over the place in terms of its form. But even then, the early signs were there. Kadop with a big series. Radosin with a big series. Again, both of those players coming through. It's not often that Alpha is the player that we're talking least about on Vitality. And yeah, across both of those series, that was the case. They have yet to actually sweep a series, Jam. Across the entirety of the Dacia Spring Electric Tournament, Vitality has always dropped a game in a series. But it doesn't matter if you're getting those wins. And I feel like, whereas before I would have looked at this grand final and said, it's, it's, it's a, it's a shoo-in. I've supported Sir ever since they beat Carmen Court on day three. Surely they are the ones who are going to go on and win it. And I still believe that they are the favorites. All around, they are looking better. But lower bracket momentum is a real thing. Championship Sunday KDOP is a real thing. And I, as much as I am still backing Sir to win overall, I would not be surprised at Vitality pulling off at least a bracket reset scenario. And a big shout out to everyone who has been following the European scene from roughly a year ago. We've seen a lot of folks in the chat mentioning Intel World Open. Yes. And Good in vibes. a way, minus Fairy Peak plus Redosin, this is the rematch of what was the World Cup, Intel World Open, back last year in July of 2021, when uh, these teams were playing for their national pride. Mm. It's just that Vitality put their whole roster and that was team france and quite respectively they took the first place sa or mike boy Tho and only came second but they were looking mm, tremendous they were indeed uh the the lovely delectable colon stumpy and chat no doubt doing some scouting ahead of the rlcs spring split to come let us take you through the legend of sub because i think it is actually worth charting their journey here netherlands and france were the top of their group in the emea region Big Man Stacks was there, Crafters was there, you were there, Jam, watching and, and commentating along. And it was kind of brutal for, for the Netherlands because they actually got 3-0 swept by France in the playoff bracket. They then went 3-2 up against the United Kingdom, including Noli, who, of course, we've seen earlier today. And then they were able to get a game off France in the grand final, um, but, but that was as good as it got. They still ended up losing 3-1 different times of course and the legend of Sa has been born since then so actually their first appearance was in a 2v2 uh 2v2 tournament i should say dreamhack beyond 2021 uh we actually saw them uh who was it competing i believe it was mike boy i want to say mike boy and Oli. there we go and they got to the final of that uh sorry i should say to the top three of that they lost 3-1 to tiktok which was oski and revisi of course oski we know from team liquid uh leko keel ending up winning that one exotic and zen zen a very interesting point to segue into jam because a lot of chat talking about it a lot of rumors behind the scenes zen of course currently under a one-year ban from RLCS. We won't dive into the details of that. The important thing is that he's got that ban. Many believing that had he not received that ban, Team Vitality would have been his destination once he'd become eligible to play. Some still believing that he will be heading to Team Vitality. KDOP potentially the one to drop. KDOP needing some big performances between now and and the end of the RLCS season to prove his worth. I think no better place would it be, I think, to start that, I guess, redemption journey for him, Jam. Not to say that he's discredited himself in any way. I think he's still a, a super solid, great player with great experience. Captain k for a reason, right? 
but he needs to show that he is still able to hang with the new generation of player. And already we can see Team Vitality coming out as they mean to show offensive chops, though able to clear the lines. And actually, it almost came to nothing as <laughs> up goes the save from Alpha. Recycle to though again. And there's Kane up on hand to make another save. Back in again off the backboard. Ooh. And this time it's Alpha once more. And it's peppering the net here from Sa. So eager to get that early lead. Have they finally managed to find a clear? And of course, and who is at the end of that clear? Or rather, who facilitates that read? It's Redosin. So, so who do you think should we watch Relic? Should we still put attention on Alpha 54 and Kadop? Should we should we watch the Championship Sunday Kadop? Or should we still put our all of our eyes on Redosin? He has been looking tremendous throughout the previous series. And oh. most importantly, his teammates have also stepped up. So who is going to be the difference maker? The talent that is just waltzing across his opposition in Radosin? Or do you think the old guard is going to be the real difference here in the finals? Is a team game jam. All of them have to be important. Oh, That's yes. Alpha in the back comes only in the Fennec. And though able to put it back into the center. Kade off with the clearance as Mike Boy up to the top of the box. He's got a lot of boost to utilize. Gets the flip reset. Alpha tries to go underneath him. No luck on this one as Oli's going to try and drop it down. Double commit from the Vitality defense. The clear strong enough to clear the lines. The counter attack. Radosin. Alpha crossing over. Mike Boy up but not really out. That's going to be helped by Though, although picking it off there was oh, KDOP. Big reactions from Mike Boy straight into the center again. Another double commit this time from the South defense. Really strong opening from both of these two teams, but still the scoreline remains goalless. And the play is looking as if uh, everyone's just taking a careful stroll across the pitch. Uh, exploratory shots here and there. But the moment one of these squads is seeing an opportunity, all of a sudden, all of the sleep is gone. Uh, no, no caution, all danger. And we've just seen what Team Vitality could pull off just on a dime. And previously we've seen Sa repeatedly peppering the net of Team Vitality with shots as well. It is a calm before the storm kind of playstyle. Don't be tricked by the fact that it might not be looking as fast. Oh, these teams can go fast when they need to. Halftime comes and goes infield. K-Dop! Rocket from him! Lovely infield pass. Vitality breaks the deadlock. Was, what's this I'm hearing from a crowd? Can't stop Kadop, especially when Alpha is setting it up with such a tasty pass. Mm, finger licking good. And Team Vitality finds himself an opportunity worthy of the Grand Finals. <laughs> I love that my roommate actually had some Kentucky-based chicken product herself a little earlier today. And look who's popping off. It is Kadop. Is there, to, is there another to be had, though? I, I've said this throughout this entire tournament. Those 1-0 leads, not safe. Not safe in the slightest, as much as I'm sure Vitality would be eager to lock this one down. The cleared line, Mike Boy out to the side. Lovely pass back to Mike Boy. Lovely interchange, but intercepted finally by Kadop. Radosin gets a piece of this, only looking for a sensational angle redirect. And though a bit on his own here, actually does well to chip this up to the backboard through the corner. Maybe, maybe not. No one to receive on the far side. Only finally arrives on the scene. That's back to the backboard again, uh, where a player lay in wait. Though, again, they're just having these long shots, Jam, but not really finding much luck. I appreciate and I respect the need to try and break away the defense, but Vitality standing strong. I cannot, cannot even give so an inch. And I think they recognize that pretty well. What a change from Team Vitality. Of course, they've won all of their games so far today. Uh, but we've seen them in a much more precarious position. Again, another reminder, last meeting between two, these two teams have ended with Sa sweeping Team Vitality. That was day one. Day one by this point seems like a far cry. This it was does. way back on Thursday. This Team Vitality is, uh, is the one that came in to get trophies, get results, and... It's every important for them to try and get that price. A reminder for what these teams are playing for. Oh, there you go. Thousand euros. And Mike Boy does know what's on the line. Also a one month test drive with the lovely Dacia Spring Electric and Mike Boy going for a test drive right down the middle of the Vitality defense. It seems so simple a goal to score after seemingly requiring big mechanics to get past the defense. And I think Vitality is going to be a little upset that they've let that one go. And we, we recognize as well the the steel that Sa has to be able to overturn these sorts of leads. Lovely infield pass again. Alpha destroying, though, ensuring that the attack is one car light. Mike Boy has to give that up. Alpha, he's got his support of Kadop here. And 
Well, red by Tho, misreads the ball, but he's up now to pick it up at the halfway line. Tho doesn't really get the sort of control that he was looking for on that occasion. Oli, K-Dop, you can see Alpha there waiting to pick it up, and they are able to get it to the backboard, but with no real direction, truth be told. Center circle suggests that we might be heading to an overtime. Big shot that rattles the crossbar. Only trying to lock it down. No double tap for him. Back around comes Mike Boy. Keeps it off the ground. They want to finish this before they head to the legendary prolongation. It's our first game of the series. It's our first overtime of the series. Well, of course, how else but with an overtime are we going to ring in the grand final series? And Team Vitality are not allowing Sa to create anything at the very end. Hell, they might even immediately create something on the other side of the field. But the Dutch defense stands strong. More attempts, Kadop and the rest of Team Vitality are being met by Sa in the middle of the field. And that's their strong suit, just trying to kill anything that their opposition is throwing at them. So that in the middle of the field, and you see Mike Boy, though, Oli just making short rotations, but these rotations are made for one purpose only, to stop Team Vitality from even thinking about a country. Oli, again heading to that backboard. An alpha equal to it, though. Nice read, but no one to receive. Radosin, all three Vitality players just looking to recoup the boost right now. Radosin again, though. Bumped out the way, but gets his clearance. Nice redirect, and that's going to be a demo in the air, as that's almost a bump in net. Only looking, seeking for a dose in, and though with the attempted pass back in the field, again denied by the newest roster edition. That's dangerous! <laughs> and Alpha 54 brings his protractor out. The angles work for him, and Vitality take first blood. Are these angles even legal? Who even goes for that kind of shot? Well, Alpha was just going for the challenge. I guess it's in his name. Usually it's 50-50's relic. He has 54, so he has four more percent chance of getting something like this going on target. Team Vitality get their first. And a reminder, since they're coming from the lower bracket, to win the whole tournament, they need to win two best of sevens in a row. Easier said than done. Well, on one hand, they're Team Vitality. And we know exactly what Team Vitality means. Those of you who have followed this team forever, we even know a fairy peak on the sub bench. I'm pretty sure he's right there just waving a flag and like a big foam finger that goes number one, number one. <laughs> fairy peak knows how strong his team and his teammates are. Don't get me wrong here, folks. I, I see I see you out there in chat. No doubt there was a slice of fortune here. All, all Alpha 54 was doing was challenging the ball, but he also knows that if he challenges from that perspective, it might go on target. And I think that with that in mind, it was better to just go for it rather than leave it and i like that proactivity from vitality i think it's a lot of it's actually what they're doing is what i feel calming core should have been doing and it's working better for vitality similarly i thought that semper was gonna step up today they've been slowly but surely working better on their new style of play with exotic in the team and i thought today was the day where it was gonna completely you know show off to its finest degrees just how good a move this might become it's Vitality that has surprised us all, really, after looking out of sorts. For the group stage, for the first st stage of playoff, really, it's lovely. And that's a big rotational break here. It's not going to be punished as the Dutch folks are, are starting to struggle here. A far post shot from Redosing whistles wide. And Michael closes down Kadop, but here's Kadop again. Backboard hit. Backboard very popular with both of these teams today. And no shot follow-up here. Oli blocks this one. Kadop, get the flip reset. No, it falls away from him. I was Radosin also wrecking havoc in front of the net, trying to bump out any of the soft players that he can find. And Radosin will go that again. Oh no, he stops the shot that was destined for the net from Kadop. Great idea, but backfires on Team Vitality immediately. I'm gonna have to try again. These bumps are proving to be efficient. Radosin just needs to duck out of the way. It might be a specific prize there of Verita Skiller, but it is a correct prize. Again, a month's test drive of the Duchess Spring Electric. A very nice car it is as well. Uh, understandable then why there is an 18 plus requirement for this tournament. Perhaps why we don't see a particular cheese based organization. Nothing cheesy about that shot. It rattles the crossbar again as Team Vitality threaten to go ahead and really start to put the pressure on Sir. 
who haven't really been in this scenario often, have they? In fact, the one scenario that we did find them in <laughs> was when they were 2-0 down to Team Singularity right back at the beginning of Group A, of which, of course, they were able to reverse sweep them, and Team Singularity didn't win a game after though in field finds Mike Boy shot on target. Denied by Alpha, picks up the 100 boost. Only forced back, not got much boost himself until now. Ricochet away to Mike Boy. He's not going to pick up that 100 only. Mike Boy to get it now, but they've given up possession as well. Radosin, it falls its way to Alpha. And Radosin looking for bumps. No, nothing really to find. And once again, the South defense holds. How about Team Vitality's defense? That's a miss from Kada, but Radosin has his back. Is the angle oh. right? Oh! Kadop would like to take some risks right now. I'm not sure if he wants to also drink some brisk, but he is definitely feeling like he needs to go for something crazy and wild. And I hope Team Vitality's fans' hearts are feeling okay after that one. Oli was just hoping that he would be a little bit more aware of what's about to happen. Vitality still doesn't let anything in. More shots coming in. Can Oli actually find a reset? <laughs> he can only find Tho coming in back. Nerves of steel from Alpha 54 staring down. <laughs> staring down a very, very mechanically gifted player. Alpha trying his own mechanics off the backboard. Nothing there. Radosin sweeps around. Got some boost to use as well. Bumped out the way by Mike Boy. Tho steps in. Alpha again looking to reset this attack. I think he's got the flip reset. It doesn't matter. Mike Boy with the save. Across the net. A bit too heavy. A bit too much mustard there from KDOP. Radosin. We've seen him be a little bit tricksy in front of net as well. As Alpha goes sideways. Picks up the 100 boost. Demo from KDOP on Oli. Power play here potentially. But again, nothing doing. Radosin taking out Mike Boy. Locking them into their own half. But the ball's on the other side of the pitch. We'll have to try again. This also kills any potential boost that uh, might have had on them and also resets their rotation. If the luck of a draw is against Sa, uh, the player might respawn somewhere way far away. Double commit and lack of boost might be hurting Sa right now. It's not like Team Vitality have that much more, but Redosin goes for yet another bump. You could see off the side of the camera, he rotates straight through the middle of the net of Sa, and he always tries to just get one of the players going. And by this point, they're gotten smarter about it, but. It's still never nice to be playing with the thought that, yep, there's that train coming in again. It's going to demo us. Nervy, tense, tetchy. That is basically your three-word roundup of game number two here. Sa not wanting to give Vitality 